that we have in our facility has a wide range of use and we have some companies that are working um, more, more with biological samples and we also have companies that work with more mechanical samples. We don't have access only to the machine but also to the knowledge that is required to run the machine and also the training that we get and that we can transfer back to our company. And this is not possible if you go to an external service company where basically as soon as you send a sample or send a request then you don't have access to anything else and you just get the results back. And, and clearly this is very different here where you have a vision and a sort of like you are accompanied throughout the journey. So you can go from um, fabricating your device, uh, move to this floor and uh, do your cell culture, your tissue cultures on this floor. You can then move downstairs and uh, read your assays. Um, so it brings together a whole heap of uh, disciplines into one compact building. You know, we, we work in energy storage, not exactly the closest link to, uh, to, to bioengineering. So it, you know, it doesn't matter if you're working in biotech, you're working in, in health tech, you're working in clean tech, um, you know, AI. Chances are there's something here that, that will accelerate your development. It is unprecedented, really, and also for a small startup, really key in our growth. Because um, as you can imagine, the budgets are limited when you're trying to grow, and pieces of equipment that we see here are extremely expensive, extremely technical to operate. So that access to the combined expertise on how to use them, support on how to design experiments, and access to the equipment itself is really uh, been key for the growth and success of the company. Mm -hmm.